Welcome to another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Hey guys, welcome into another WSI TV episode. I'm market analyst Jordan Bishop. Today I'm coming to you straight from my desk. Um, we're going to go straight to my computer screen in one second because we've got some really interesting news from Amazon. Not sure if you've heard about Amazon stock, um, but Amazon and Google were both sort of racing to the $1,000 mark together, um, and Amazon finally reached it. Um, it hit the, it hit it two um, two days in a row intraday. Didn't close above it quite yet, um, as I'll show you. Um, but for right now, just wanted to fill you in of what we're going to be looking at, and we'll switch around to the computer screen right now. All right, and right now we are looking at the chart for Amazon. The ticker is AMZN. Um, this is the daily chart uh, over about six months or so. As you can see, um, Amazon, you know, it, it hit during the during the election, and then it's just been rising ever since then. Um, it's had some really strong up points. I believe that was earnings right there, the end of April. Um, you know, and it's just been flying. And as you can see right here. This was on Tuesday, I believe. Um, as you can see, that little white box that pops up when I move my crosshairs over here, you'll see the, the H in that box, 1,001 and 20 cents. Um, now it closed at $996.70, but it still breached that $1,000 that $1, mark for the first time, and that's a huge milestone uh, for any stock. There's only one other stock in the S&P 500 that is in the quadruple digits, and that's Priceline. I believe it's around 1800 um, But, you know, there's these psychological benchmarks that stocks hit um, when they cross over them. It's usually whole numbers. Um, you know, Jesse Livermore used to say when a stock broke 100, he'd always he'd always buy it because he knew it would go up to 130, 140 real quick because there's that psychology that is broken through that even number. And we might just see that with Amazon. Now, as I said, it, it was just intraday. It finished, it hit it above 1,000 on the intraday on, on Tuesday. And then again on Wednesday, it hit 1,000 with 12 cents. Opened at 1,000 that day, actually, but closed at 994. Uh, the market's been a little stagnant over the past couple days, uh, over these couple days. Once we see that Amazon closes above 1,000, um, you know, it, it, might, it might just take off. I'd, I'd keep a close eye on that. Now, I'm just going to take you over to Google. And then we'll round off with the NASDAQ chart. But right here, you're looking at the same thing. Uh, daily chart over the course of about six months for Google. Again, I think this jump right here was earnings. Um, you know, bounced up. Uh, you know, so Google almost hit 1000 on Wednesday. It came within $0.40, cents, $999.60. Um, that closed down at 987 Again, um, the market had a bit of a, a stagnant day. Um, but as you can see, this, this race to 1,000 really took off back in April. Um, both charts look very similar. You know, they both bounced off after the, after the presidential election right here and just took off. Now, there was, there was this psychological sort of uh, battle, you know, it was a race uh, to 1,000. Now, Amazon got there. It'll be interesting to see where Google stock goes from there. You know, some people are saying maybe it's overvalued. Um, maybe it, it's not a $1,000 stock. We're looking at the chart. Clearly, it's just about a thousand dollar stock, and that's all we really care care about. But let me move over to the Nasdaq for a second. Now, to get over there, you type in dollar sign C O M P Q, and if you see right here, it sort of follows the same shape as Amazon and Google. Now, that's because these are the two big contenders within the Nasdaq, um, and they were really the driving force behind this this rally right here. Um, you know, back in March, the the Dow Jones hit an all-time high right here on March 1st, and as you can see, that was an all-time high, but the the Nasdaq has has gone on another two, three hundred points. Um, you know, and it's been hitting new all-time highs all along the way. Um, it suffered that down day when we uh, we had the allegations about you know the Russian probe and all that. I mean, you know, those are excuses for the stock market. We're looking at the chart. Um, that's all that's all we really care about um, So like I said, you know just going back to Amazon. I would watch this stock very closely um, Keep track of this little horizontal bar on the intraday line right here and See when that closes over a thousand 
what happens. Now, there's a very, very big chance that Amazon might split its stock, you know, five to one, ten to one, which means that for every five shares, uh, for sorry, for every one share, they produce five, but the price is divided by five, so that that would bring the price down to two hundred dollars. Um, they might do this if they get an offer to join uh, the Dow Jones because that is a price weighted index, and you know the highest price stock on there is Goldman Sachs. Uh, I believe it's two two forty two fifty um, right now. Um, so that might be a good reason for Amazon to split. But I mean, still, it's you know once it once it breaches that one thousand mark, whether it splits or not, it could just take for the skies, and you know the Nasdaq could take off as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, I know we haven't got Sean here to entertain you guys. We got no whiskey glasses in front of us. Um, but this is all vital information for you and your trading. And, you know, it's something that, that you should really take ahead into the future when you're considering which stocks to buy, which stocks to sell, um, and you're watching the major indexes like the, like the NASDAQ. So we'll see you next week. I'm sure Sean will be back on camera with me. Have a good one. Thanks for watching another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Be sure to visit WallStreetInformer.com where you can become a member for free and gain instant access to the secrets of market millionaires via the Wall Street Informer Vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WallStreetInformer.com. <laughs>